Hey, what's going on guys? Jesse's Voice back again. I hope you guys have been having a great week. It's going to be Friday any minute now. <laughs> and I hope you guys have uh, great plans with whoever, friends or family this weekend to relax and enjoy yourselves. And if you're one of the unlucky ones that have to work, ah, that's for you. That's probably how you guys feel, right? <laughs> At least you're making some money, right? Maybe some overtime, who knows? But anyway, um, just coming back on the channel, not really getting a whole lot of interaction, and I know it's my fault. It's not your fault, guys. I I am blessed to have two subscribers, and there's at least one person that's always liking my uh, my uploads. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Maybe you're related and you don't want to embarrass me. <laughs> it's my mom or my sister or brother or something, but, uh, you know, I, I appreciate you. <laughs> we got to get some more in here, right? Let's, let's try to get five subscribers the one day, the one day, you know, 20 years from now when I hit maybe 50 subscribers, that would be pretty cool. I think that's when I could officially do a live stream. And I am going to do a live stream. It's probably going to be a black screen. Maybe by then I'm so ugly. Who cares, right, how I look? Um, and I'll just show my my, my ugly mug. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll have a nice uh, live chat back and forth on here. That would be kind of fun, but uh, quite far away from 50 subscribers. But anyway, yeah, I just... Coming on here again, whoever's listening, maybe one of the, the two subscribers I have that, that frequently visit my, my page here, um, throw some comments, man. Throw some topics you want to talk about. Is there something you guys have been wondering about? Something you, you want to know my opinion on, right? Uh, it would really help me out, okay? That's the whole point of this channel. But since right now it looks like I'm on my own, um, I wanted to just kind of ask you guys what do you guys think of the state of the world lately huh i mean geez we got a lot of stuff going on we got we got war talk we got disease talk we got uh natural disasters going on uh our person that sits in the highest position here in the united states is sick but, you know, why, right? I mean, geez, the guy got, you know, all the protection supposedly that keeps us safe from catching that. Um, it's just some weird stuff happening. Now they're, now they're, they're blaming the extreme heat on um, people getting blood clots and heart attacks all of a sudden. That's very interesting. Um, cause a lot of people, you know, they're getting, a lot of people are dying and, uh, these people are young and were fairly healthy until the last, you know, two years and things changed and they had to do certain things in the medical area that maybe they would never have done, but they needed to, to keep their job, support their family. And then all of a sudden... Now they got problems and some of them are, a lot of them are not even here with us anymore. We got, you know, this extreme summer going on and, you know, two thirds of the country is at risk for having actual blackouts as far as energy is concerned. And that's not good, especially if you're elderly and you live alone or you have, you know, small children or even pets, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, you can't hear anything good anymore, right? It's insane. It's crazy. It really, really is. You got a lot of laws being passed that are pissing people off. And, you know, to some people, you know, affecting their right to uh, do certain things got laws passing that are going to be affecting grocery prices, especially in California. It's going to affect uh, these uh, cars that depend on diesel fuel to, <laughs> you know, function. And that's a big problem that's going to affect everyone, you know, uh, everyone around the world. And it's so weird that all these things really started the last two years. It's just very interesting. I'm trying to stay politically correct, okay, guys? Um, 
I, I again, it's not really what I think, at least until you guys start interacting with me and then we can have a discussion back and forth. But it's pretty wild. Personally, overall, I think um, that that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, the people that believe they run the world and actually probably have for a long time now. <laughs> uh, fear is food, you know. It is literally energetic food, vibrational food for these uh, these beings. And therefore, there always has to be something related to fear, trauma, um, you know, just that type of negative vibe out there, such as war, disease, natural disasters happening all of a sudden, um, and things that just hit close to home, such as, you know, uh, you know, buying a, a, a gallon of milk and, and a loaf of bread and bacon and just, you know, things like that, eggs, you know, it's just, uh, some, there's always got to be something going on to keep the majority of the people just, maintain a certain level of fear in their lives and and that is what fuels the uh the unfortunate machine that has been running a lot of what happens on this planet you know that uh that movie monsters inc remember they they would the monsters would would scare children right and this the you know the the child's you know, they would scream and their fear would be like caught and contained in this container. And that was kind of like their juice. Well, there's, you know, again, I don't want to get bombed on here. Um, but I'm sure you guys can catch the reference to that, right? But think about it, right? It's fear. And that's what they wanted. That's what they, that's what gave them power. And I truly believe movies, even Disney, especially Disney. And if you think about what's been going on at Disneyland parks all over the world, what's the deal there, huh? All of a sudden, right? Last 30, 40, 50 years, everything's been fine. Happiest places to go on earth. And now you've got brawls and fights and rides breaking down and people getting hurt and floods and just some crazy stuff huh Disneyland parks Disney again guys should be doing some research on a lot of this because I think you'll find some rabbit holes and if you're brave enough if you're bored you know you put one step in and then you'll be like oh shoot and you put another foot and then <laughs> And then you're just going to be like, whoa, Jesse, okay, all right, I see what you're hitting at here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot happening in the world, and I just, I know you guys see it, I know you guys hear it, even if you don't watch the mainstream news, and I don't, and you still hear about it, you know? It's impossible not to hear about things happening and just coincidences, and it's just crazy, right? It's just weird, you know? government officials stepping down resigning <laughs> getting sick all of a sudden <laughs> i shouldn't get sick uh it's just some some weird stuff happening so all i can say is you know what i believe this horror film that we've been living for the past well, especially two years, but really a lot longer than that. I think it's just become apparent since, you know, 2020, right? Isn't that funny, though? 2020, the year of clarity, <laughs> you know, the vision. Uh, the vision that spread across the world and people started to see things a lot differently. We're starting to see what's been going on behind the scenes that, you know, it's pretty scary. And it's making a lot of people upset. And I believe there's good changes coming very soon. And uh, there's always light 
behind the scenes working um, to flush out the darkness. And, and I think that's what's happening. I know that's what's happening. So a lot of people say, enjoy the show. It's all a movie. We're just watching it right now. And it's getting to the good parts. Well, I don't know if I would say it's a movie because movies tend to be entertaining. It's not very entertaining to see people die and get sick and struggle in life, you know. But I don't believe it's uh, it's going to last for too much longer. And, um, pay attention to some of these things that are happening on the news, whether it's with people, certain locations, not just in America, but on Earth. Um, political especially because these are the people unfortunately that are the puppets that are actually you know in front of us doing some of these things that we're like what the hell are you guys doing although they are not even the ones in charge there's you know they have handlers behind them but anyway I just it's just it's just crazy to see it happening every single day and uh, you get frustrated but as long as you know and you start to catch things and you start to connect the dots. We talked a little bit in my previous uploads of, you know, the Georgia Guidestones. Um, there was a statue in Rome also, I think the day after or the two days after that um, caught fire, got struck by something. Uh, lightning. People were saying it caught fire, got struck by lightning or both. But something happened, and, and that location was very interesting where that occurred. Again, you guys can look it up. And then, of course, we got the Hoover Dam and thing that happened not too long ago. We got a lot of, uh, again, um, prime ministers, people of high government um Positions just kind of saying bye bye, disappearing, getting assassinated, just a lot of crazy stuff. And um, I don't believe it's a coincidence. So, curious if any of you listening to this feel the same way or have been thinking the same way. And if not, that's cool too. You can still leave a comment, tell me what you think's going on. Um, and uh, let's start talking. I really want to come on here a little bit more often than every couple of days. But there's no point if I'm not getting any interaction. So uh, I appreciate you hitting the like button for sure and subscribing. And if you think you know someone that might like listening to my voice and some of the things I'm talking about, please share. But uh, more importantly, drop some comments so you guys can give me some fuel. Um, to uh, come on here again soon and and get to talking all right so anyway i hope you guys uh, have a good thursday night have a great friday again enjoy your weekend plans whatever they are and i look forward to talking to y'all again soon until then you guys take care much love